Good morning beautiful people, I'm Alex and this is Ginger Head & Co, my sewing vlog. Today, the second part of uh, my tutorial, how to make a vest, possibly using scraps. And today I'm going to show you how to top stitch the neckline and uh, the armholes. I'm going to use my cover stitch machine, but you can do it on your domestic machine. If you use um, a tiny zigzag stitch or any stitch, stretch stitch of your choice, you can top stitch using that. I would probably use um, a special fit, but <laughs> that's another matter. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to top stitch the ribbing to my garment uh, using three needles and hopefully contrasting thread so you can see how I do that and uh, it's the neck band is attached with a, an overlocker so the overlocking or the seam allowance your seam need to go down that direction okay that as you top stitch you can check with your fingers if it's definitely facing down facing the garment down okay so we are going to start at the center back or somewhere like that and uh, I'm not sure if you can see but my foot this is Juki MCS 1500 my foot has ridges and each of those little metal ridges um, shows you where the needle position is so you need to find if you want to sew like that because obviously you can use various tools various gadgets like like that like that this one is for baby lock but I as you can see I don't really use them the in their boxes so uh, well it's just easier to learn to do it without any folders i know that some people put a masking tape here to know where the well let's say well an inches or whatever some people put a lego block some people put um, a bit of elastic around it but i just i just eyeball it I mean, not, not that much eyeball it. Where my, well, my ribbing or any neckband matches the garment. See here, it's going to go precisely in that space, in that first ridge. Okay, so I can be sure that my first needle and the last needle are going to be in the garment. If you want to um, top stitch on the ribbing and on the garment obviously you are going to move it so that the right needle the right outer needle is going to be here on on the neck band or in my case the ribbing okay but I don't want that I want my top stitching to be sort of edge stitching where the garment meets the <laughs> the ribbing hope it makes sense okay so that is my guide and that's what I'm going to use. So let's go. Foot down and let's go. And I know that some people have problems um, with uh, going through seams because the seams can be bulky. So this, this is a bit of plastic that you if you order something something from amazon very often when it's packed they also add this packing plasticky thingy you can use it as uh, your sim jump or whatever it's called so so that your foot is in the same position let's say i don't think i need to use it here but let's say i do See, no problem whatsoever. That is a pretty bulky seam because I'm using ribbing, right? So, and that's for free. That is free. 
I use it for my straight stitch as well, for my normal sewing machine. That's why it's so long, because sometimes I sew very long <laughs> seams. But, well. And generally, don't do what I've just done. Don't stop in the middle, because, well, if possible, go smoothly throughout the garment. I'm not pulling anything, I'm just making sure that nothing, that the garment is not folded or anything like that. But So I'm kind of straightening that, but I'm not pulling anything. Or pushing anything. We've got, we've got another seam, so let's pretend that the machine is struggling. Okay, and let's go. right and we've done it in the round so we want to finish quite neatly hoping that we can finish quite neatly so we are snipping off our starting tail tails and uh, and then trying to match the ridges representing each needle or whatever your machine has because it always has some sort of indication it doesn't necessarily have to be um, marked by the producer the manufacturer but you can definitely find something <laughs> and uh, let's go or even better if you really need a neat finish you can do it by hand by turning the wheel the hand wheel so that the stitches overlap, but they only overlap like one stitch, okay? And then my favorite way of finishing, I'm lifting my foot, taking a full turn because I want to be sure that I have released the tension, placing my flat object of any sort, snipping the, the thread, pulling the fabric out to the back, Snipping the looper thread and it's done. And that's the finish. So that's the finish where the, the stitches overlap and that's the top stitching. And uh, going through the seam, no skip stitches. Okay, let's do to our armholes as well. Okay, so again, I'm placing my garment so that the ridge here, this one, is precisely where my ribbing meets the garment, meets the fabric, okay? So that is important. That. That's the point on my foot. Can you see that? No, I'm not going to be able to <laughs> take off a stitch. I'm very much on the squiff. <laughs> okay, so the armbands. Going through the seam.
but as you can see my machine doesn't have a problem going through seams so I don't always use my plasticky thing Finishing. Pulling the thread. Snipping the thread. Pulling the fabric to the back. Snipping the looper thread. And that's, that's without the skip thingy, the plastic thingy. So it didn't really have a problem. And that's top stitched and everything is sitting flat and at the back it looks like that. If you use the same color of the thread, obviously, it's not going to be... Well, it doesn't really matter because that is white. But let's say that if you wanted blue, you would use blue and it wouldn't be noticeable. But then the top stitching wouldn't be visible. And another armhole just in case. So I try to start at the back because um, the, the stitches are over, uh, all, always overlapping. So it just looks neater. And let's go. And again, my seam allowance is going that way towards the uh, center back of the garment. Bulky seam. I'm not sure if I need that, but just to show you that it's it's very easy. It is sort of compensating fit. the end so my beginning tails thread is still here cutting off my looper thread as well making sure that those ridges here on the foot show me where the needle is going to to go to penetrate the fabric so obviously if I want to finish neatly I'm trying to go in the same spot. Pulling the thread, cutting the thread, pulling the fabric to the back. Looper thread and it's done. And it's okay. That's with the compensation over the seam, and that's because I couldn't be bothered <laughs> without the compensation. But this machine can cope. So my stitch is long because uh, normally you, you don't use three needles, I just like the look. So uh, my stitch is four. But other than that, the settings are pretty normal. So all my needles are around three, the tension, and uh, the pressure fit pressure is medium. Nothing really. The looper is well in the kind of middle position, so three, and no differential. Sometimes you do need the differential, but 
not in most cases. So that's everything top stitched. Now we need to neaten it up. I, I still have that thread. Okay. So that's how I top stitch my tops.